she is going to be sharing some Dea pizza with me. It is a vegan pizza brand. Many of you probably have already tried it. Mom, will you hand me that box? Sure. So they can see all the glory. It is the Meatless Meat Lovers. So I've had Jaya pizza one other time. Mm -hmm. And you've never had Jaya before, no. have you? Mm -hmm. This is my first time. So are you Thanks excited? Thanks for inviting me. I you're am so, so excited. I guess really you invited me because this is your house. Oh, of course. You're welcome <laughs> to our house all the time. Um, thank you. So I can film here mm -hmm. <laughs> all the time. Yes. All right. The door is open. You have a key. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. Um, this is vegan, right? Yes. Okay, good. good. Yes. That's, so it's Jaya cheese on top. That's vegan cheese. It's meatless meat crumbles, meatless pepperonis. Mm -hmm. My mom is trying to be more plant-based. She's been doing a pretty good job. You only uh, slipped up once since November, right? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Because so. we made a boo-boo. Yeah. You want to tell them about it? We had Chicago-style pizza at a restaurant and... We were supposed to ask for half cheese, half no cheese, and forgot to ask yeah, that, so she just up. ate it anyways. I messed up about it. But it's okay. You can try to just do better, mm -hmm. and you're redeeming yourself with this pizza. Yes. So I know you're hungry, so we'll go ahead I am and very hungry. dip in um, the big one. Yes. We pre-cut it. Oh, this is good right here. There you go. Cheers! Right. Cheers! Woohoo! Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mm. Oh, the pepperonis on here aren't bad. I love it. They have like a little bit of a tang to it, or maybe that's the sauce that's mm. tangy. What kind of cheese is this if this is not really the real cheese? It's Daya cheese. Mm. Is that what you call a made of cashew nuts? Mm. Cashew. Maybe. Mm. A lot of plant-based cheeses are made with cashew. I mm. assume Daya cheese has cashew in it. Okay. I've never really looked at the ingredients. Mm, it's so good. Uh, yeah, it's not quite as... Like, vegan cheese isn't quite as creamy and smooth I guess mm -hmm. as dairy cheese mm. but I think it blends well mm -hmm. with all the other pizza toppings like if you didn't know this was vegan would you would you know the difference yes would you I, be able to tell the difference I sure do mm -hmm. I know the difference because the non-vegan pizza is very greasy mm. it's real greasy you can see the grease there, and then when you put that's it down, you can see the grease on your hands. <laughs> that's true. This is very greasy. This one, see? No grease at all. <laughs> grease free. Mm -hmm. Except, I think that is grease. <laughs> but not a lot. Mm. It's, a, it's saucy. I think part of that sauce. We love to eat, guys. Mm -hmm. It's our favorite thing to do. Oh, but it should be good food. Mom, for any of our uh, Pinoy viewers out there, do you want to say anything? You mean in my language? If you want to. If you felt Mabuhai. I'm Filipinas. Hi. Oh, that's English. Kumusta po kayo? Kumusta po kayo? Narito kami sa South Carolina. Sa bagong bahay na binili namin ng asawa ko. Um, napakalaking blessing. Maraming salamat sa Panginoon at ako'y uh, masaya dito maligaya kami talaga dito sa aming bahay dahil simple lang ito ang aking hinahanap simpleng simple lang talaga tamang tama lang ang laki para sa aming dalawa ng asawa ko at pumupunta dito ang anak namin uh, malapit lang siya dito sa mountains of North Carolina doon siya nakatira ang haba ng sinabi ko sorry it's too long and you probably did oh, not oh. understand. Oh, that's the dollop. Oh, oh. oh, oh. That oh. means yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. What is um, Hindi? Oh, I said it in Tagalog. No, I know what that means though. Hindi means 
Uh, you're welcome? No! I Wait. just said it. I just said it. No! Oh, it means no. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome is walang anuman. Yeah, and thank you was salamat. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, yes. Salamat for letting me use your house. To you're film. welcome. <laughs> you sure are quite welcome anytime. Mm. It is so good. Yeah, I was debating between this and the Supreme. Mm -hmm. But since this was new, like it said on the box, new, mm -hmm. like the Meatless Meat Lovers was a new yeah. uh, Daya, or Daya brand. So I decided I would snatch up what's newest and bestest out on the market. Do you happen to know what is that pepperoni made of? I know it's vegan, but what is it made of? Is it soya or? I assume soy. Uh -huh. Here, soy. should we, you want to read the, the ingredients? I don't have my glasses on. Do the honors okay. for me, please. Okay. Oh, there's a lot. Mm. Gluten-free crust. Well, that's, that's good. Tomato, basil sauce, olive, onion, salt, zinc and gum, garlic. <coughs> the mozzarella me. is made with filtered water. Tapioca, starch, non-GMO, expeller pressed, mm. canola and or safflower oil, mm. coconut oil, pea protein, isolate, vegan natural flavor, salt, inactive yeast, xanthan gum, lactic acid, titanium dioxide, okay. yeast. The yeah. Beyond Meat Italian sausage crumbles are made with water, pea protein, isolate, non-GMO, expeller pressed canola and sunflower oil, yeast, extract, spices, tapioca, Etc. 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 Thank you. <laughs> you Thank can you read so them much. later. Yes. <laughs> the list goes on and on, and I feel like I'm mispronouncing half the things. By the way, thanks for inviting me. No, you invited me to the to house, house, but you invited me to the show. Oh yes, I guess I did. Yeah, you're my first guest that has actually been part of the mukbang because Dad did a special guest appearance. Ooh. He dined and dashed. <laughs> Can I show them this? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, it's so good. Mm. Yeah, we wanted to add some other things to the pizza, but we didn't have any other ingredients. We wanted like either jalapenos mm -hmm. or like something green, peppers. Yeah. But we had I like jalapeno. What we had. The only disadvantage about having jalapeno on your food is that it really makes your nose runny. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to have to have... Happens in all my videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Time out, please. <laughs> you know, get a tissue and wipe your nose. Mom, do they have vegan pizzas in the Philippines yet? Do you think? Mm. I have to ask one of my mm. nephews or nieces. They might be watching. Mm -hmm. Erica is subscribed and Rap's wife, Chi. Do you all have vegan pizzas over there yet? Let us know. That could be a cool business to start. Mm. A mm. vegan vegan mm -hmm. brand over there. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, Filipinos are meat lovers. We love fish. We love any type of seafood. You name it. Yeah, but so did you, but you were able to give all that up. I gave that up for many reasons. Yeah, so. But I like being vegan. It's because I want to know what I put in my body. And I care about my body. I want to live longer. I want to be healthy. Not just physically. It's also good for you mentally. Um, it is just so awesome. Can I tell them how much I have right now? If you want. Well, maybe not. It's you can okay. give them a ballpark range of how old you are. <laughs> yeah. Mm. She's in her... Well, you can tell them down. In her 50s. <laughs> I but actually, she looks lovely for her age. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm 58, right? Oh, wow. You said the whole thing. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I was you know, trying to be discreet for you. But that's mm -hmm. cool. I like number eight. It's my favorite number. So, so she's just going to be 58 forever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
It's so good. But mom, mm. I still think you have to identify as plant-based or trying to be plant-based, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Because veganism is like a philosophy and a lifestyle that's rooted in animal rights and ethics. Mm-hmm. And even though like you agree with those things and those ethics, I don't think you're quite to the point where you're claiming vegan, you know? Because you're sort of just cutting out certain foods and eating plant-based, but I don't know if you've really, truly a- a- adapted the philosophy yet. Have you? Um, what do you think? I love animals. I care about them, and I don't want them to be hurt. Like the pig. You know, in my country, there is what you call a roasted pig. It's the whole pig that they cook, and only on, on special occasions. Special occasions like fiestas, birthdays, and it's expensive too, and it's the whole pig. And I remember, let me tell you this, I remember when I was little, there would be a barrio fiesta. Like four o'clock in the morning, they will start killing the pig. Mm. No, and then you hear the the pig crying. so graphic for my channel. It was a vegetarian channel. I know. (laughs) I'm probably losing viewers Yeah, all these details. One thing about it is that, I don't want them to be hurt because they have feelings too. Yeah, they do. Pigs are really smart. Mm-hmm. And uh, every animal, they, they, they feel the hurt. They it's do. physical pain. That's torture. Yeah. So why not just eat plants? Yeah, eat a substitute. Yes. And regarding the seafood, when I stopped eating meat, animal meat, then I became just vegetarian. However, I developed a uh, allergy, skin allergy on my legs mm-hmm. because it was a lot of seafood that I have to eat and because I love it so much, I eat it almost every day with rice and then I developed a, uh, a skin up. allergy. <laughs> so that is the reason, I'm sorry, that is one of the reasons why I stopped eating fish or any kind of seafood. Yeah, so I would say like your philosophy is what it kind of came about as you were cutting more and more things out. So Mm -hmm. I think once she cut out seafood, that's when she really started kind of researching the animal rights aspects Mm -hmm. and being more aware of that part of, you know, being plant-based and those benefits of being plant-based. And you know what? It's so ironic because we live close to to an animal preservation place where the founder of this animal preservation place is rescuing hurt animals, animals from the zoo. He is a veterinarian and he was healing them and continue healing them. And it is not really a zoo where they are being paraded for pleasure and entertainment. So I'm very pleased that it is just nearby I love animals, even though I'm scared of dogs. (laughs) She is really scared of dogs. (laughs) Mom, would you ever have a dog again? Would you ever own a dog? Mm, No. No. She had a bad experience as a kid, right? Mm -hmm. Where uh, she got attacked. Were you attacked or did it just uh, bite you? Okay, Mm -hmm. yeah, that would be traumatizing. And remember, when we were living in Clinton, I was running, running in the neighborhood. And a big Dalmatian chased me. Mm-hmm. It's kind of funny when and you I say, talk about it now, but yeah, I'm I screamed. I screamed, like, help me, help me, help me. I ran, I ran. No one was helping me. So I went <laughs> inside the neighbor. They were laughing. They probably thought it was a joke. Because oh Dalmatians are kind of cute, but I think some of them are known for being a little more feisty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really ran. I ran for my uh-huh. life. And not only that, at work. Some of my coworkers have been bitten. Mm-hmm. Even just a small dog, you're sitting there and a dog bit her. And I don't want that to happen to me. Sometimes they will say, oh, very friendly dog. It's not gonna hurt you, it's not gonna bite. How would you know? She don't trust that. <laughs> yeah, so they have peace. Um, I think I told you. When I was trying to go to one of my client's houses, I accidentally went to the wrong house because I'm terrible with directions. Mm-hmm. And there were dogs yeah. um, that came up to me. There were three dogs. Mm-hmm. And they were pretty big with loud, ferocious barks. 
And I thought one of them was going to bite me because he sounded so angry that I was in his yard. And so I was like banging on the door. I said, help me, help me, let me in. <laughs> but no one was there because I was at the wrong house. It didn't look like anyone was home. And then I dropped my phone mm-hmm. by accident, like pretty mm-hmm. much in front of the dog. So I just like had to dive in for it. thought I was going to get my hand bitten off. Mm-hmm. Snatched it up and ran back to my car. Mm-hmm. They didn't so bite me though. I can eat another piece of this. <laughs> well, it's all gone now. I think it's so good, guys. It was really good. It's not too filling either. No, it's not. It's not. Like obviously, we are sitting here saying we could eat more. Uh-huh. So we could probably share another pizza. They're like a medium size pizza. I think the thing with the dogs though is like they can sense that we're afraid of them. Mm-hmm. So we and we know that about. Not that I'm afraid of all dogs, but if one is like barking at me kind of ferociously, like the one at this person's house, this unknown person's house. And I don't know who that dog is, and I can tell that they're angry at me for being there. I mean, then I'm scared. But because I know that they sense my fear, then I get scared. Mm. Because, you know, I just know that, like, I'm more exactly. of a target now. Exactly. You're a target. They can sense it. I think that's also one of the reasons why I'm scared of dogs. Because I know that they can sense that I'm scared of them. Mm-hmm. When you are scared of them, they have authority over you. So they can do whatever they want, I guess. But it's not that I hate dogs. I'm just scared of them. I don't dis- despise them or anything. I am just scared of dogs. Yeah, I'm, I'm not dogs. the only one. I'm not the only one who's scared. There are other yeah. people I know. Some people I know who are really, really scared of them. It's okay. We all have our things. Well, that's the first drink of water you've had. Mm. I have to drink water like every other bite, it seems like. Oops. My alarm is going off. (laughs) One second. (laughs) I had to get up because my phone alarm was going off. I had to set a timer. I'll just be honest with you. This camera (laughs) only records for like 10 minutes, then it stops recording. Then you have to start over. So I just figured I'd set a timer mm-hmm. rather than risk, you know, it yes. not filming when I think it's filming. Mm-hmm. All right, last couple bites. I finished mine. You ate fast. Mm-hmm. You were hungry. I was hungry. Actually, after this, I'm going to eat some more. <laughs> not pizza. Some what Filipino you? food. Oh, some pancit. Mm-hmm. Well, we should have done a pancit mukbang. But we didn't really have a lot. We just had mm-hmm. maybe like um, half a plate full. Yes, but we still have a lot of the green tea noodles. Mm. And I put some green peas instead of meat. That's our protein on that. And some chickpeas. Chickpeas, mm-hmm. yeah. In wow. the Philippines, we call it garbanzos. Also the same term that they use. You want some spice? For uh, Spanish. No, thank you, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> I was going to airplane it into your mouth. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> oh, this has been so nice. I love it. I love that pizza. And I have to remember the name. You know, sometimes in your mm. moment. <laughs> so how do you say? It's Daya. Daya. I actually had to watch a YouTube video today mm-hmm, mm-hmm. from a YouTuber. I think her name is Miss Q. I think. I might be saying that wrong. But... I, I always say Daya and Daya interchangeably. I think I've told them that before. But it's actually Daya. Uh-huh. And Daya. she made a good point. No one wants to eat cheese or a brand called Daya because then it's like, oh, you're going to eat it and die. Oh, yeah. So. You don't like that. You want to be healthy. Yeah. Live for the day. So oh, that's Daya. A, that's what it means? I have no idea. I just That's how I'm remembering it. I'm rather than rather than die today. It's yeah, live for the day. You know, it sounds like an Indian. Oh, it like, sounds like an Indian word. Yeah, maybe. The Bombay, middle. They, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We'll look it up. Mm-hmm. I will Google that. Oh, oh that was good. Good. I feel like I have oh. food in my teeth. No, you don't. Okay. You have pretty teeth. Thanks. Thanks for my braces when yes. I was thirteen. Yes. All those years ago, mm-hmm. they paid <laughs> off. I still have that impression. Oh yeah, they had to like take a mold of my teeth 
it was terrible. I was like crying mm. during the middle of it because they like prop your mouth open and they put like some type of clay mold thingamabob in your mouth and you bite down so they get a mold of your teeth, but you have to hold back for what felt like forever. And so like you have saliva dripping out, you feel mm. like you're choking. Yeah. And it was a bad experience. And I then, would never go through that again. And then, I would just have crooked teeth. And then you couldn't eat <laughs> after the first uh, procedure, right? You yeah. were sitting at the table and then you Oh yeah, I was so sad because I couldn't eat. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I was probably being a little dramatic. Well, it's true. It was yeah, it did hurt. It did hurt. And then yeah, and you can't eat the things you want to eat. Yeah. But maybe they've changed the way braces work now. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. sure of that. Imagine that a long, long time ago. There was no YouTube, no cell phone. What did we have? Just TV. Mm -hmm. Not even satellite, not even a dish or cable. <laughs> yeah, so we've Five come channels. along. If we've come that far along with technology, certainly mm -hmm. braces, you would think, have come a long way right, right. since like, the metal wire days, mm -hmm. the painful days of rubber bands and metal wires and mouth molds and uh, the, all the other torture devices that we had to go through. Mm -hmm. Mom didn't have braces though. No. She, she has nice teeth. No. Mm -mm, thank you so much. <laughs> but but she won't show them. Do you see my teeth? Yeah, show them your teeth. Show well, them how perfect they see, are. I don't know. I'm not comfortable about showing off my teeth. I don't know why. Okay. You don't have to do anything you're not comfortable doing. Exactly. Actually, when I was in the Philippines... You have the right to say no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Actually, when I was in the Philippines, before coming over here in the U.S., I used to smile like this. Yeah, you did. Which is funny because you always told me as a kid to show your teeth mm -hmm. when you smile. I know. I it was know. like you couldn't do it, so you wanted me to do it. Exactly. Take one for the team. Mm -hmm. Like, I couldn't play the piano, so I had you take piano yeah, lessons. Yeah, that didn't work out either because I did not really enjoy that. I would like to be able to play the piano, and I think you would too, but we just don't want to go through the process of like having to learn it because mm -hmm. it's too it's stressful. It's stressful to learn mm -hmm. most instruments, but, but the I like piano it. especially for exactly. me is stressful. But you could, um, there's some one music that you can really play very well. Heart and soul. Me and yeah. Michelle can play heart and soul. Yes, it's yes. you know dun 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 Excuse me. Sometimes I just pretend that I can play. And you know what uh, <laughs> kind of music that I pretend that I am playing it myself? It's the Facebook music. Oh uh, okay. How does it go? I don't know. No 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 no. Do you all remember when Facebook came out with those movies? Like, it was like a life review, pretty much. I think they came out with it in like 2013 or maybe 2000, no, 2014 or 15. And they like put together like all these clips mm -hmm. of the last like decade. Mm -hmm. It's all your Facebook pictures. And they played some really pretty, like very sentimental sounding music mm -hmm. in the background. I love That's that what music. she's talking about. Yeah, I love that music. And I know we cannot use music here. Because of the license thing, copyright. But I love that music. It was very touching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like when they yeah. made those Facebook movies, I like wanted to cry when I watched. Oh them. really? It did not make me cry. Uh, you're not as sentimental as I am. Everything makes me cry. Yeah, it did not make me cry. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, we're done with our pizza. They probably so don't want to watch us babble and babble. Yeah, but it was so good, guys. It was. I really love good. it. I really do we love it. I think maybe we left it in the oven a little too long. Like the instructions said, fifteen to twenty minutes, mm -hmm. and we weren't sure if it needed to be at four fifty or four seventy five. How long did it stay there? You remember? Only like twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. So maybe we cooked it a little too long because I noticed that some pieces of the sausage, the fake sausage crumbles, were a little tough. Mm -hmm. Just a few pieces. Yeah. So yeah, it just all depends on how you, you know how much I love crunchy timing. stuff. I love mm -hmm. the crunchy stuff. The yeah, crust. it, it wouldn't be so the same without that crunch. I know. Get all about that crunch. Yeah, gets me excited. Yeah. All yeah. right, can I do the honors? Sure. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people from my country, the Philippines, and here in the U.S. and everywhere, please hit like and subscribe and hit the bell. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Bye.